So if you haven't already started grilling for the season, you will soon. I haven't touched my grill in three years. Okay. But what I, if your and what if your grill is like mine? It's all gross. I'm sure it is. <laughs> the folks at Real Simple Magazine have some tricks to get it squeaky clean. Take a look. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you two different ways to clean a grill. One is just this quick and easy cleaning trick you can do when you're in the middle of cooking. And the other is a deep cleaning process for the end of grilling season. If you wanna quickly clean off the grill grates when you're in the middle of cooking, put down the grill brush. That way you won't have to worry about getting bristles in your food and grab an onion. Take the onion and just cut it in half. And then you just wanna grab a grilling fork and use it to rub the onion cut side down on the grill grates. You wanna do this when the grill is on and on fairly high heat so that it's gonna really help you get off any of the charred food bits and barbecue sauce that's collected on the grates. It smells really good too. That was just a quick clean for when you're in the middle of cooking. But now if you wanna get your grill completely clean before the end of summer, I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps. And this is when you do wanna grab that grill brush. And first we're just gonna dunk it in some soapy water because the steam is really gonna help us loosen up all of the stuck on food on the grill grates. And we're really just gonna let the steam do all of the hard work for us. Now you wanna shut off the grill and disconnect it from the propane. So if your grill grates are really gross because you've been grilling all summer long like I have, you just wanna take them out and we're gonna give them a wash in some soapy water. You also want to remove the burner shields. We're going to give these a scrub too. Now you just want to put your grill grates and the burner shields and even that disgusting drip pan into a bucket of soapy water. We're going to give it all a good scrub with the grill brush. Then just rinse everything off. So now we're getting to the gross part. We're going to clean out the cook box. I already disconnected the drip pan from underneath the grill and I placed a bucket underneath to catch all of the debris. And we're just gonna clear out all of the charred bits. You definitely wanna be wearing gloves when you're doing this. Next, you wanna give the inside of the lid a scrub with the grill brush. Now, you might notice what looks like peeling paint, but it's actually just a buildup of carbon. Now, I'm just gonna grab a wet paper towel and give it a wipe down. Now that your grill grates are clean, you wanna take some vegetable oil and apply it with a paper towel. This is similar to re-seasoning a cast iron pan. It also keeps food from sticking to the surface. So now that the inside of the grill is all nice and clean, I'm just gonna clean the exterior with some stainless steel polish. You just wanna put it onto a microfiber cloth. Now, if you have a ceramic grill or painted stainless steel, you just wanna use some soapy water instead. Well, there you have it. All right, I feel inspired. I think I'm going to do that this weekend. All right, for more cleaning and tips and tricks, you can pick up the latest issue of Real Simple Magazine or check it out on realsimple.com. And once again, it is published by Meredith, which is the parent company of our station.